Ooh. Yeah. Go, go, go. Is this filmed in enough? I don't want my head to be in the way. My head always seems to be getting in the way lately. Like, Hi! Hey, amor! Hmm, it's not telling me how many people are watching for some reason. Hi! Thanks for joining, guys! So yeah, I decided I wanted to do a video. This is going to get edited into three parts. And I just don't, I don't understand why this doesn't look like I've zoomed it in, but I'm sure I have. Does that kind of look, are we in a good shot there? Hi guys. Hi everybody. So this is going to be um, a three part video. Is this working? Yeah, are we working? Are we on? I'm just going to go like this so I can see if we're doing anything. <laughs> this is going to be a three part video. I'm going to film this now all in one. So you guys that are watching it live will see it all done right now. But it's going to be edited into three parts. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to prep a silicone hand or a poochie's hand to practice on nail biters nails basically <coughs> hopefully that makes sense and then i'm gonna do two nails sculpted with forms and two nails using tips so that's the plan hi hi everybody thank you all for joining hopefully this will be an interesting video for everybody and i don't know whether i've zoomed in enough but let me just see oh maybe Is that better? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so yes, I'm gonna get straight on with it. I've already done these two here. There's two different ways you can do it. Um, with this one, I used some acetone to melt the edge of the tip. But I think this way is probably gonna be the best. So, I'm gonna get well it'd help if I had everything out what I needed. So I'm gonna get my stalk scissors and this is just a regular you can use whatever tips you've got basically. And you wanna cut it down. The dogs are going mental because Greg's just home. Cut it down as much as you can and then you're gonna file off as much as you can. Obviously, you want to be really, really careful at this stage now. Because you don't want to hurt your poacher's hand. You really want to make sure that your file has been scored and that it's not sharp on the edges. Now, I'm showing you this on a nail that's already on. But... This would be even easier if you were applying them yourself because you could just apply them further down. If that makes sense? It's difficult to, it would be difficult to apply them as bit of nails, but you could like not put glue at this area here. So when you stick them on, just don't put glue high up, just put the glue lower down. Then you'll be able to pull it up like I have with that one and file it really low. But in regards to having a really, really short nail and sticking that on, that would be very difficult to do. Because these, even just this length nail is quite difficult to stick on. So, I'm just going to let you all know that. <laughs> just take your time with this, it's not the easiest. Probably looks like it's going to be really easy, but it's not that easy. Oh, my hand. So, yeah, I'm going to apply tips to two of the nails and then sculpt two of the nails. Do 
This is up to you as well as to how short you want the nails to for practicing. I know that like when you when we practice on these hands and on like the, the essential nails trainer hand and things like that, you're not gonna be able to learn things like this, like how to work with bitten nails. So I thought, well, let's figure this out guys. These specific tips, which are the shorter ones, are, I find, um, thinner. So they're going to be easier for you to do this with, to file down or to melt away. Because they are thinner than the, the coffin ones. So as you can see there, like, that's, that is like a bit of nail. Like, that is much shorter than, like, the end of the nail. But obviously, some people are even worse than this. I'm going to take this one a little bit further down. So you can decide how far down you want to go with this. How's everybody doing? Did y'all watch Love Island last night? Just remember, be really if especially if you're using a poochie's hand, you do want to be really, really careful because these are expensive. I think that's short enough, like, very bitten. So that one there is quite, that would hurt if that was your nail. Um, does acrylic hurt? No, it doesn't. Congrats on 7k. Thank you so much. Love your videos. Love you, Scarlett. How's the nail course going? It's going fine. Thank you. She said in a video like she hasn't been doing it. I didn't see or hear that part. I'm going to be doing, there will be some updates on the nail course really soon, guys. So, I've got quite a lot going on in the next couple of weeks. And then hopefully, beginning of September at least, I should have had, I should have something up for you guys. So, yeah, that's quite short. I might do this one not as short. Yeah, I will have some updates on the Essential Nails course coming soon. So, I'm sorry it's taking so long. So that, I reckon that's just like, just a regular bit of nail. That is like a really badly bit of nail. So, these poor little bit of nails. So, 
you can also like thin it out a little bit by filing down that bit just because if they do bite them you will probably find that that part of the nail is a bit like you know what I mean you guys if you somebody who buys nails or knows about bitten nails then you're gonna know what I mean Just be super careful with your hand. Right, so these our our these are these our our these are fingers now. So they are bitten, not looking great, pretty, not the best nails. I'm just going to get a picture of that. Greg? Hi, Mimi. Mm -hmm. You're your puppies. Right, so I'm just going to get a quick picture of this and because I can't get it on my phone, I'm going to have to just get it on my camera. For some reason, well, why is it not working anymore? That'll do. Just so we can get a before and after. So basically, guys, this is basically ready now to start practicing and using your tips or your sculpting forms, whichever you are used to doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the tips first. And then I'm going to try and get the sculpting forms to kind of look like the nails with the tips on. It's probably not going to go very well, but it might be entertaining to watch, so stick around. So the tips that I'm using are these stiletto ones, and these are by Mia Secret. And I'm just using the Mia Secret nail glue. I'm hoping these are going to stick on all right. So you're going to do all your regular prep, obviously. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about prep just because obviously this isn't... This isn't a real person. But if you are wanting to practice, then I would say, yeah, do, do all your prep. So you can practice doing your prep. My dog is insane. I'm hoping these are going to stick on. So I have already sized these up, by the way. I didn't mention that part. But yeah, you want to size your tips up. This is going to be difficult because I need my pinching tool really and I can't find it. <sighs> Nightmare. Oh, it's just a cute little nail bit and nail. These are not going to be extra extra long. I wouldn't advise doing extra extra long if you're using um if you're using nail biters. <laughs> if you're 
working on nail bit and nails I just wouldn't advise that but How are you all doing guys? Chat away, chat away if you like. Where is my pinching tool? I don't know where it's gone. I'm trying to think what I used it for last. So that is just the tips there. Still on. Now you can blend them if they need blending, but I'm going to grab my, what acrylic have I got in here? This is my nail acrylic. Mm. I'm going to use my glitter bells if I can find it. I don't know what I've done with it though. Oh, I'm not prepared, am I? Okay, let's just use nail. Let's just use cameo by nail. And for this, like, use whatever you want. All this is going to be is, like, um, a gel polish. I have a nice Kiara Sky gel polish that I'm going to use over the top. I haven't done tip and overlay for ages. And I'm actually dreading the sculpting section of this video. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully my head won't be getting in the way. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I love watching people do nails, so for me, I really enjoy them, but... So definitely want to make sure you've got your structure right, like even more than ever with a nail biter. Please feel free to ask any questions and I will answer like as well as I can. Even if you just got any random like questions, I, I don't mind these videos being sort of like a and a as well. And I do get people asking me to do Q&As. And I would do them, but I just don't feel like I'd have enough questions, if that makes sense. Like, there's only like a couple of people who want me to do them, so... I don't think y'all would have enough questions to fill a video. That's like one done. That went quite well. I'm now going to just attempt to do it. Like a regular three beads starting at the bottom. 
because that this is how you would get taught to do it but I I just always tend to go the other way for some reason I really want to pinch these nails and it's annoying me that like, I can't. <laughs> what acrylic powder would you suggest for the pink and French? Um, God, that's a good question. I like the Mia Secret White and the Cover Pink, because I love the Cover Pink. It's got a bit of a shimmer in it, so it depends whether you like the shimmer or not. Um, a lot of people like by CJP. Is it a more and Milky Pink? Because Milky Pink is like an off-white that's like slightly pinky but that's not from my own personal experience because I've not used it but I do know that's something that a lot of people have recommended for doing like baby boomer nails My favourite thing about doing nails, oh my god. Um, do you mean as in what do I enjoy the most? Probably a, like acrylic design, like doing acrylic designs. I love doing acrylic designs. Hate capping. And I'm not a fan of filing. Right, so I'm going to go on to the sculpted part of this video now. Wish me luck, you guys. Now, I'm not trained in sculpting. So I'm not a trained sculptor. So... Not entirely sure how this is going to go. Well, let's give it a bash. Yeah, I do love doing like acrylic designs. Oh, uh, right. I feel like I'm going to need to cut this a little bit, but obviously when you, you can't really get under the nail because it's been bitten. I'm going to give it a bash, but... So, I'll try and show you what I'm doing, but I'm just... Cutting... This is not going to work. I'm as new to this as you guys, by the way. Let's get another one. To the sculpting game. I think I might have cut that the wrong way then, actually. I 
out of everyone on here, by the way, who does sculpting and who does like tips? What are people's preferences? I would be very interested to know. So I think it actually needs to be cut the other way, doesn't it? Like. See if that helps. I'm learning tips, yeah. Now I remember Kirsty saying in a video that it doesn't matter if there is that little gap. So I live by what Kirsty says. I do both, but I prefer form because it's faster. I can, yeah, I can get that because you don't have to like, si when you're using tips, you've got to size them up, then you've got to stick them on. So I, to I do, I, that is something I thought about when I was starting learning. I reckon we need to go to a bow of four with it. Now I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get these to look like the tips, but let's give it a go. I need then it needs to be pinched really because it, this is so wide. But I just don't have a freaking pinching tool. How annoying! So if you have a pinching tool, do your pinching, guys. Pinch away. It doesn't really need to look the same because if you were doing this, you wouldn't do both. You'd just be doing one, wouldn't you? But I just wanted to try and get the set looking similar. I think it's annoying that as a nail tech, you do like one or the other. No when you learn your course, like my course will qualify, apparently, this is what I've been told. My course will qualify me to do tips and overlay, but, so I'll be a qualified nail tech, but I won't, technically I'm not allowed to sculpt in terms of insurance and things like that. And I just think, it's just a bit annoying. I mean, it does make sense, but it's still just a bit annoying. I'm sorry if my head's in shot by the way, hopefully it's not because we are quite zoomed in but that has just been happening so much in my videos lately. My big head's just in the way. think I might leave that and then come back to it because I prefer I do prefer like finishing it off when they're after I've taken the form away I want to pinch it so bad <laughs> look kind of similar similarish length I think as well I've got a really nice um, 
Kiara Sky polish that I want to do like a bit of swatching with. So that's my plan. Let me just see if I've put my pinching tool back. What have I done with it? What have I done with it? It's the only one I've got as well. I don't really want to buy a new one. Because I have one somewhere, I just don't know where. Right, let's do the next form and then I can finish them off. Like, once I've taken the form off. This is a nice colour in itself though, I think. This is Cameo by Nail Nails. And I do think it's a nice colour. I'm thinking this one should fit alright. People say that you can't use forms on the silicon hands and I've never had an issue, like you want to stick your, what is it, bits underneath and stick them bits together and it stays on fine, so she says and now it's not staying on, lol. Also you can use a bit of tape to stick it together if you need to. Oh my god, this is so typical. This is why I, I like, I'm definitely a tips girl, if I'm honest. Just find it easier, but. Okay. Oh, that's so warm, love it. It is difficult with a nail biter, guys, it's difficult. Take it to about, oh, took it to about five. Ah, that one was pushed up more though. So that's something to think about as well, guys. If you are ending up push, pushing the thingy up, but you're measuring your length, like obviously that one was pushed up a lot higher than this one. So I'm not going to take this to where I took that one to. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense to y'all. I'm not dipping into this properly because I can't see it properly. Naughty me. too hard to pinch now I struggle with pinching I don't understand it like because the sides are tacky and still sticking but the rest of it's too hard so it's not pinching anyway so I don't understand when you're supposed to pinch and I've watched Kirsty do it so many times and I've watched videos so many times but so it somebody did ask me how come I don't really pinch my nails and it I just pretty much I just find it difficult so I just don't basically <laughs> leave that a bit longer I think that one maybe could be a little bit longer
Oh, sorry, I'm not even in shot, am I there, guys? I'm so sorry. I mean, it's got a nice pinch in it, but it doesn't look pinched, if that makes sense. So the reason why I'm doing this in three parts is because I think some people, some people will want to watch them all, but some people all, might only want to see the sculpting one. And some people might only want to see the uh, tip one. So I just thought, you know, we shall try and... Just do it so people can just watch what they need to watch. Hopefully most people will watch both. <laughs> but you never know. I need a little bit more liquid. Have you tried the reusable forms? Oh, I've seen them. I really want to try them, but I haven't yet. Oh, I just poured so much liquid then. Yes, I really do want to try them, but I haven't yet. Um, have you? Oh, I find them easy for the practice hands. Ooh. I need to try them. I keep meaning to order some off Amazon. Now, I am doing these quite, not, not like super thick or anything, but I definitely don't want to do them too thin just because with them being on a nail biter you never know if they're going to be a bit weak or you know as you can see th from this video i worked a lot quicker with the tips so i didn't show me sizing the tips but it took me like a minute to size those two tips um, so for me, in that sense, like, it was a lot quicker for me to build a nail with a tip. But that's just because I work with tips and if you are someone who works with forms then it's going to be the complete opposite. That's got nothing to do with the nail biting and I know I know a lot of people have had opinions. I know that um, Nail Perfection's video got a lot of comments on it because I think she worked with tips. Or does she sculpt? She, she works with tips I think and people were saying you should sculpt and stuff like that and it's like I think she knows what she's doing. <laughs> She's been doing it for years and never had any issues. So I, I genuinely think it's whichever you use is absolutely fine. And if you're working on a nail biter, you don't have to do one or the other. Like if you work with tips, work with tips. If you work with forms, work with forms. Personally, I would advise using dual forms, <laughs> but that's just me. But I think that would be so... Oh my god, I should have done that. Oh, I should have done a dual form. I, if you guys want, I will do another one. 
on and like nail biters and I'll do a full set of duo forms if that's something people want to see. Because I, I just think they would be so good for nail biters. Do you not think? Does anybody else think that? Just this one just needs to be a little bit thicker. This one went a little bit easier, I think. Personally, if I was choosing, if I was working on nail buyer, I would do, I think I would try dual forms, see if it works. Other than that, I would want to use tips and not sculpt because I just think it's difficult, very difficult with a nail biter to sculpt. Using like regular forms, so. Well, that, again, that's just my opinion, so. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. I don't think I've missed any comments, have I, guys? If I do, I will try and, like, get back to you. Ooh, that, that, that looks really good, the shape of that. I love the apex on that finger, guys. Can you see that? I don't know if you'll be able to hold that. It looks good. If I say so myself. I can smell burning and I'm hoping that Greg's using the grill. Because it smells quite bad. Hmm. A little bit worried now. <laughs> right, let's get filing these bad boys. Your filing is just going to be the same. Oh, I hope I don't ruin my nails. These are my my summer nails. I will be so upset if this doesn't let me download this, you guys. You don't even... Oh my god, I'll be fuming. Some of you might be aware that I had a couple of videos um, lately that YouTube just wasn't letting me download, so I wasn't able to edit them. So if that happens with this one, I'm so scared. Because this is like three videos and I need these videos to work. Wow, I'm hot. I knew Jack and Danny were going to live, live, win Love Island for definite. Everybody gone? If anybody's there, 
please say something just because I need to know that this is working still. <laughs> Oh, everybody's gone. Great. Hi, Dawn. Oh, thank you for commenting, Dawn. Are we still live? Are we still like filming? All right. These tips are really good tips. I might get these for the shop. Mm, it's too hot. Sweating. Good, I'm glad. Now normally in like my edited videos I wouldn't have all of this um, filing in so that's another reason why the edited ones are better. really thick. And it kind of sticks up a little bit. I think it's because of the form. But again, if you would you would normally do all of them with forms or all of them with um, tips, so they will all look the same. my hand so much. just not like the same shape and it's going to annoy me. Oh well. The ones on the forms 
are more pinched basically. Um, you will probably be able to tell, like the, the shape is more like pinched inwards. I have that alarm, yeah. I think probably everybody has that alarm. I don't know why it's set for three o'clock though. What have I done at three o'clock? I mean they're similar, they're definitely similar, <laughs> so I think they feel quite small. Hmm. Right, let's buff over these. Oh, thanks, honey. This um, tip's coming off of the actual nail a little bit. Not the tip that we stuck on, but the actual base nail. Because these had been on for ages, which is why I decided to choose her for this job. Because they're ready to come off now, really. Oh. oh, hair fever. <coughs> does any... <coughs> oh my God, does anybody else suffer quite badly with hair fever? I'll tell you what I noticed in my last video that I was editing. It, parts of it were like, it was skipping. So there wasn't like, um, all the footage, all the footage was pretty much there, but there was like little skips in it. I was like, damn. So how that's not gonna keep happening. What time are we on? Chill. Right, so this is what I've got. It's probably going to be, thank you, Dawny. <laughs> it's probably going to be quite similar to what we've got on, to be honest. But I wanted to be able to give you like a little thwatchy of this. It's called Chit Chat by Kiara 
guy. You can get these from Nailtech Network and you can get the 6% off with my code, Idle Girl. It's all linked down below. So let's see what it looks like and see if it looks nice on its own. I'm sure it will. It's quite like a lilac y purple colour. Haven't used any of these polishes yet, actually. Definitely going to need a couple of coats. Oh dear me. Oh, it's a nice purple though. I think when I ordered it, I was I wanted a pinkier colour. But you can't really tell online like what they're gonna look like, can you? But I will be getting more. Pop that to car. I never do like simple sets so it will be good to just have a nice just simple set. I've got this as well by Kiara Sky which is like um, a glittery one so I was thinking about maybe doing like that fade, a fade with that maybe but I'm not sure. I might just stick with just the um, just the chit chat. I'm just going to cure it for like 30 seconds so that it's nice and tacky still for the next, well, 40 seconds for the next quart. It's a nice purple, guys. I like it. <gasps> oh no! Drop some. On my towel as well, flipping heck. I am starving, my stomach's going mad. It's like, feed me. Right, put that in again, and I reckon another core, and then. Oh, I really like that purple, you know, I might just leave that purple. That's well pretty. Very, like, nice and simple and classic. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Classic. 
Oh, do you know what we could do? We could do some stamping as well and get a stamping video out of it. I'm trying to get as many videos as I can out of one set, guys. That's the, um, that's the trick nowadays. I don't have that many gel polishes. Gel polish is definitely something I want to start, like, collecting more of. So you probably could just leave it with two coats. I'm going to go in with one more just to see how much we can build it up. That's better. By the way, I will just let you know on camera, well, on the screen I'm looking at, it's looking a lot lighter. Not a lot lighter, but quite a bit lighter than it is in real life. Um, I do find that that tends to happen with these videos, which is a bit annoying. But it's basically just because the bright the lights are so bright that i have on so just get that out the color code Yeah, really good coverage with three layers, so that's good. Right, one last cure. Yay, I'm excited. So what I might do is not, oh wait, let me just read comments. Recommend gel polish off eBay called Lavin Lavender Violets by Forget Too Free. Let me try them, fantastic. Ooh, is, are they UK, Dawn? So definitely might try them bad boys out. I do like the ones that you might have seen. I like Blue Sky are really good. Um, I have some Gelux ones and they're actually really good. Me and Secret have a brand of nail, po nail van, uh, gel polishes, but they are also called Gelux. So they're not allowed to sell them in the UK because just because they've got the same name, which is really annoying. But the Gelux ones that I've got are actually, the brand is called Gelux. And they're very thin and very easy to work with. Gel polishes can tend to be quite thick. Mind you, this Kiara Sky one is nice and thin as well. But yeah, so, and I also did the haul on the Fairy Glow ones, the, the, the glitter collection that I've got. And they're really good as well, so... You know, there's, there's loads to try from. I do need to start, like, building a collection of gel polish, I think. Right, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Look how pretty. Really, really like that colour. I do really like that colour. Now, we will have a tacky layer on this, won't we? Damn it. I'm going to put her back in and cure it off. No, I will wipe the tacky layer off. What I'm going to do is instead of putting a top coat on... I really like that for a final look, so I'm going to end this video with that. But I might do some stamping on these nails. Does anybody have any requests for stamping? Also, I could do some decals. So, I could either do stamping or decals. So, let me know what you guys think. 
Um, I have some, immer I would actually quite like to do some decals. I have some of the decals from Dawn. Let me have a look. Let me have a look which ones I've got. Which ones would go with that colour? Could do some flowers. Yes. Or some skulls. Oh my god. I'm not going to do mermaids just because I've, I've already done like some of the mermaid ones in a video. But I could just do like a video dedicated to like the Queen of Decals one stroke flowers. They would go nicely. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Is that what you guys want to see? Let me know because obviously I want to like do what you guys want as well. But I think that's quite a good idea because I can actually do that dedicated for um for Dawn. Uh, not Dawn, Bev. Beverly. Bev? Is it Bev? It's either Bev or Beverly but I never like, I have a friend who doesn't like to be called Bev. She only likes Beverly so too many people in my life that I can't remember everybody's names. So I'm just using the Nail Nails Wipe Off Solution. You would really want to do a top coat. Um, I mean, I guess I could have done a top coat. Also, probably would have been better to put the decals in the sticky layer, but too late. Too late now. But I just want to get pictures of them as they are without anything else on as well. So that's another reason why I'm doing this. So they're not really glossy anymore. They're actually kind of matte looking now because they've not got a top comb. That's actually kind of cool. So that's the finished result of these so far. But that is that is like the finished result in regards to applying, learning how to do bit of nails on a silicon hand, which I just thought for you guys, it's something that when you're training, you probably don't really get a chance to practice very much because obviously you're practicing on your regular training hands and they're not bitten you know they're just regular nails so if we're trying to make this as realistic as we can for you guys let's learn on some bit of nails and see how we get on so that is that part of the video but we will do i really like these swatches as well for that color i actually i didn't think i liked it at first when i first got it because i was expecting it to be more pink but there's actually a really pretty purple so I do actually really like it. But yeah, if you guys are interested in me doing the decals, definitely got that to come. But yeah, I'm really liking that colour as well. Hmm, I'll have to get a little picture up of that as a swatch for that colour as well. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. How long have we... Oh, we've only been on an hour. That's not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, we've had a little practice with tips over... Personally, I can see that the tips for me look better, but that's not to do with bit of nails. That's just to do with me being used to working with tips and not, like, forms. So, but yeah, you can do tips or forms on your practice hand and you can even practice on bitten nails, basically, on your practice hand. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I'll definitely get it edited and you'll be able to watch back whether you do tips, whether you do sculpting, whichever. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. I might be back in a little bit to do the decal video. We'll see what happens. And I will see you soon. I love you, bye. Don't forget to like this video. Love you.